All right, this is a video about a relay module, an optocoupler relay module. That you're seeing right here, there's two relays on this board. This is the control side of the board, the low power side of the board, and this is the high power side of the board that would be attached to whatever instruments you're uh, controlling with these relays. And um, on the right side of the board, um, I have um, the voltage input, positive 12 volts over here and um, ground over here. As you can see on the relay bottom line here, it says 12 volt DC. So these particular relays are controlled by a 12 volt uh, power supply. Um, on the left side, we have uh, the two relays. We have three ports in each relay. The center port of these uh, three port rows here is the common. And then these two bottom ones are normally closed and these are normally open. So when the relay is triggered, these two get connected. And before it's triggered, these two are connected. So I have my multimeter here. Uh, the relay is not currently triggered. So I'm going to touch this here and you can see that's connected. Um, and then this side is not connected. And the way that we drive the relay or actually trigger the relay <clears throat> is by uh, making these two, one of, one of these two pins, um, go to uh, zero volts or to low. So uh, this pin here, if I touch this ground, you see the LED turns on. That means that the relay is being turned on. And if I put my multimeter on that pin and close that, you can see that actually triggers the relay. And if I was to do the same thing on this other pin, that would trigger this relay. Um, so essentially the controls are just these two center pins drive it to ground or to low and the uh, relay gets triggered and um, connects the center pin to the top pin the other thing that's um, to note about this is that there's isolation between the control side of the board and the output side of the board the high power from versus the low power via these optocoupler devices and um, you can get complete isolation from your control side. For example, if you're connecting these pins to an Arduino by disconnecting this jumper here, this, what this jumper does is it takes the input voltage and uses it to drive the relays. And if you were to disconnect uh, this jumper and then come in with an outside power supply, then you'd have complete isolation between the control circuit, for example, an Arduino, and the left side of the board, which is the high power, as well as the switching of the relays. The way that it's currently set up with this jumper in place, um, the driving signal is, it's to some degree attached to the high power side because that same voltage is being used to close the relays. So that's, um, that's the extent of how this thing works. Once again, just drive one of these center pins to low and you will trigger the relay and cause this center pin to be connected to the top pin and disconnected from the bottom pin. All right, that's how this works. I thank you for watching.